guys, it's Wahima, but just call me Wah. Melanated! Welcome to today's episode of Morning Tea, where we sit in our sleepwear and discuss current events. Today's tea is Tiger Tail Chai Tea by the Mountain Witch Tea Company. I'm drinking chai today. I was feeling a little spicy. First thing we're going to talk about is in London on the 22nd, um, there was a crazy man by the name of Khalil Masood who drove a rented car up into Parliament and crashed it into the building, I guess, or at least he jumped up onto the pavement and he ended up killing four people in total and injuring dozens. Three of them, three of them died on the scene. One of them was a U.S. citizen who was on his honeymoon with his wife. He died and his wife is in the hospital right now. The other two people who died were British. My, my heart and prayers go out to the families. Uh, it really sucks that you went on your honeymoon and, you know, you're dying and poor wife and you know the other victims had children and it's just like such a sad situation. So at first they were saying that it was a terrorist attack. The attack only lasted 82 seconds. The guy who happened to do it was Muslim. He was converted to Islam. He taught English in Saudi Arabia at some point. Is this a terrorist attack? I don't know that we can call it that. The, the Prime Minister Theresa May said that Masood had been uh, once investigated in relation to concerns about violent, violent extremism. He was a peripheral figure and not a part of the current intelligence picture. So he was on some kind of radar at some point and they sort of uh, decided that he wasn't that big of a threat and he didn't have a gun, he wasn't armed, he was just armed with a knife and he jumped out of the car and ran towards someone and I think he stabbed and killed that person. I'm not sure if that person was a police officer or not. Police shot him once he like started running towards parliament. So again, my prayers goes out to the family. So this lion white girl in uh, Texas, and this is really interesting because when I hear this story, when I first heard this story, I didn't hear the initial story. I only heard that this person lied about this situation that she came up with. Apparently she set it up because her fiance was leaving to the military and she wanted him to not leave. And so she's like, there are black men out here raping me and you're gonna leave? But she admitted that she made the whole thing up and Brianna Harmon Talbot's hoax was also insulting to our community, especially offensive to the African American community due to her description of the so-called suspects in the hoax. The anger and hurt caused from such a hoax are difficult and all so unnecessary. Like there was almost a lynching. Like I, I feel like that's kind of what's being said in between the lines. If this were like 20 years ago, Three random black men would have been killed the next day because this bitch lied. I'm glad it's not 20 years ago and I'm glad the police decided to do their due diligence and look into it, but like this could have been a much bigger situation. And my only like thing is that I'm glad that she came out and said that it was wrong. I'm glad that the police did her did their job and really looked into her allegations and started to kind of like not believe her, which ended up making her tell the truth. I think the story was only around for two days before it was told that it was a hoax. But like, why would she do that? And two, my second thought is, why didn't I think about the fact that she was lying about being raped? Because that's an issue too. Not only did she lie about the race of the, she lied about the whole thing, but she also said it was black men. So that's a whole race thing that she's causing. And the whole idea of lying about being raped is another thing. It's like she just, pancaked herself in a whole bunch of shenanigans. This is why there are women who have been raped who don't come forward. This is why people who have been sexually assaulted keep it to themselves because there are people out there who lie about it. And so now there's always going to be doubt when it comes to things like this. As, at this point, we can't blame it on youth because we all have the internet. We all have access to technology and we all know what we say and do can impact the world in a certain way. And we just need to be smarter and make better choices. The Denison Police Department is filing charges against her for lying and making up a false crime. And they should. I mean, the thing is, though, like, she'll only go to jail if she gets convicted for the maximum of 120 days. But her face is all over social media, and we know her name. So, like, you know, her reputation is already tarnished. So it is what it is. And, you know, I'm just kind of like, why? Just because your boo is going to leave for the army? Like, girl, aren't y'all supposed to be patriots in Texas or something? Aren't you supposed to want your, your people to go to war or whatever? I don't know. In the last two days, it's been crazy on the internet about these 14 missing black uh, girls and Latina girls um, who live in the D.C. area. So it turns out that it isn't as cut and dry as 14 missing black slash Latina girls in the last 24 hours or on one day. 
So what happened is that there's an issue happening, right? There's obviously an issue happening in D.C. and around the country where, one, children are going missing and no one's looking for them. And two, these children are Black and Latinx. And so there is a sense of, like, there might be some human trafficking going on. It's, there have been 507 missing children in the D.C. area alone just in 2017. So there is a cause for concern. Now, now, did 14 girls go missing in one day? No. It's the way that the police department um, is putting out their uh, alerts on Twitter and made it look like they, it happened all in one day. But this is over like a two week period and they are looking for the people. And I believe that 10 of them were found but four are still missing. The fact that is, is that black children and Hispanic children are less likely to be investigated when they go missing because they're just seen as runaways. And so it's kind of like, well, we don't know where they are, they're a runaway. But if it's like a white child, then everyone's looking. And there was also some cause for concern. The 10 year old went missing a couple weeks ago. There was no Amber Alert put out for this 10 year old black child. But because celebrities jumped on the bandwagon and the way it was posted on social media, everyone took off with it and made it seem like in one day 14 girls were missing. The idea of being sold into like sex slavery is like so far out of my mind that like whenever I'm here somebody being missing, I'm like, I wonder what's, I wonder, I wonder what. I don't like I have no concept of where they could be or what they might be doing but girl human sex trafficking oh my god they were calling on Sesh, Jeff Sessions and FBI director Comey to look into this and I'm just like first of all Comey is busy okay but like he got he gonna have to get somebody else to do it and Jeff Sessions he's not busy he's recused himself from the Russia talk so Jeff Sessions has time to look into this situation they gotta do something about it um, and I really hope they do. Tommy Lauren um, was officially ousted from The Blaze. Earlier this week, it was saying that she was just suspended. But now it's official. Um, and the reason why she was ousted from The Blaze, which is her platform on YouTube, she actually said that she is pro-choice because she feels as though, like, the government shouldn't be in um, a woman's body, which I agree with, which is what anyone who's pro-choice believes. Um, but her, you know, her constituency is like, no, you're supposed to be pro-life because this is what we believe. She'll continue to troll and, and be ridiculous and she'll be fine. Um, healthcare, so the healthcare bill didn't pass. I'm feeling like I know a lot of people who Obamacare does not work for it. 100% agree that they shouldn't have to pay that. A lot of people have been affected a lot, especially a lot of freelance people. Who, like I have a friend who has to pay $150 a month in healthcare that she doesn't ever use. It's nice that she has it in case something did happen, but she should have the option to opt out if she doesn't want to pay $150 a month. Because yes, she makes a certain amount of money, she can afford it, but like $150 a month is a lot, girl. So my thing is if the Republicans have a better idea, go on ahead and put it in. The thing is though, they don't. And now the Republicans are throwing whatever Ryan under the bus. What's his name? Jeff Ryan? I, I can never, Paul Ryan. I'm like, I know it's two first names. I don't know why I can never remember his man's name. Saying that he has seven years to come up with a better plan, a comprehensive plan. And he came up with something that wasn't even good enough for the Republicans in the house to vote for. Like they were just like, no, we can't vote for this. And especially because there's been a lot of town hall meetings in the South and other places around the country where they're like, look, you can't take away Obamacare for us and put in something that doesn't work. You can be mad at him, but you can't be mad at him for putting up for, for a bad bill not going through. I have to respect the Republicans who didn't vote for it because they were like, this is a bad deal. And apparently, um, Speaker of the House, uh, Paul Ryan was having pressure from the White House to put out this thing because this was a big part of the platform, right? So they're like, come on, put it out, put it out, put it out. And he He's like, it's not ready, it's not ready, it's not ready. And they're like, put it out, put it out. And so he's like, okay. So he put it out and they were just like, uh. What is? What is the girls? They said no. And uh, Donald Trump is like mad because he looks stupid. Let's see what they do. Because I, again, I have friends who are affected by Obamacare. Not that I think Obamacare is bad, but it does need to be fixed. And even Obama himself admitted that it, it does have a lot of flaws in it. Especially when the states won't cooperate with it. Some more White House news. Uh, Ivanka has an office in the White House. Uh, this is like unprecedented because it's never been a situation where an adult child of the president, uh, sitting president, has ever been involved. I mean, it's definitely nepotism. She's. It, they're saying that she won't. She won't get paid, and she won't have an official title. So we'll see. I'm just gonna assess my feelings on it, but I'm not mad. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Morning Tea. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Bye. Oh wait, gotta put this down.